Hi, this is Dave from DeBelly, and tonight we're at uh, Club Red. We're going to speak to Defying Decay. Welcome, Jay. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Ah, first trip to Arizona? Yes, is it, it is. Yes. Exciting. It's your, uh, your album, Metamorphosis, just came out. Yes. Talk a little bit about it. I'd like to hear about it. All right. Um, we had it out on the 28th of uh, June. That album is uh, a very... The reason it's called Metamorphosis because I feel like it... Uh, it's us growing up as a band together because the process really did change just from like you know us being kids and writing music at home for fun the time we actually like you know uh, we worked with a producer on it and like did everything properly and uh, it was quite difficult because like at the time we were writing the record we were all studying in different country you know like uh, I was in London and like my other guitarist was back in Thailand and another guitarist Howard was in uh, Denver so uh, we were pretty much wrote it over like we would send demos to each other and worked with it that way, which was really new for us, but it was really interesting. And uh, the record itself, we tried to like uh, we wrote it based off uh, stuff we grew up listening to because we really want to bring back uh, the sound that we used to enjoy as a kid because I feel like it was missing nowadays, like the really new metal sound and stuff, but try and modernize it and change it up a little bit to keep it exciting and new. Yeah. I think you did a great job with this record. Uh, I, you've got a couple singles out, and they they sound great. They're a little different than each other. And and yeah. talk a little bit about putting the videos together and picking the singles. Doing the videos? Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, when we pick songs, doing videos, we kind of like went with the ones we enjoy and we think like people will enjoy, of course, you know. And uh, uh, okay, actually. The first, when we made a music video for Ghosts, in the beginning we wanted it to be like abstract because we are kind of a bit bored of seeing, you know, videos of band playing in the same room. I mean, they're all cool and everything, but we wanted to approach it a bit differently. That's why there's no band shot in that video. And uh, we filmed it in like a World War II bunker in London, which was really cool. Yeah. You might not notice it, but yeah, and like, it was really inspired by like uh, the Prodigy stuff because like, I, you know the video was at No Good and Poison, you know how they had all the cool lasers? Yeah. So that's what like I really like, and I think it's missing from the scene nowadays because most people would just be filming in like you know, abandoned warehouse and stuff like that. You know, no lasers. And I really, it really inspired from the dance music scene, like you know, the rev scene from the '90s. And actually, Judas Kiss was the same video as Ghost in the beginning because uh, originally when we shot the video, we we got the edit and we felt like we need some narrative in it. So we decided to do like the Judas Kiss video. I mean, not the Judas Kiss, but the concept is I wanted it to be like, you know, a ghost in the box kind of thing. That's yeah. why. But when we shot it and it was finished, it was too intense and it didn't really go with the song. And we thought it's so strong as its own piece. So that's how it went out as a short film and as like Judas Kiss. You got an award for that, didn't you? Sorry? Did you get an award for that? Yeah, we got quite a few awards for that. Like, I think uh, 71 or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were not expecting that. So it was great. Well, yeah. I, I love the fact that you're using a cinematic approach to the songs themselves as far as the videos are concerned. Um, you're right in that there are a lot of bands today that just sort of mail it in. They do the easy thing in the warehouse. Yeah. Uh, they only have a day, they take a day off the road and they go and they do the video. But you guys spent a little more time on that and it, yeah. it certainly shows in the work that you're doing. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about putting this record together, Metamorphosis. You spent some time to do that. It, I, I know it didn't happen overnight. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the process. All right. Well, actually, we started writing this quite a while ago, like in like, I'd say like uh, 2016 early when we all like went back to school, because like uh, back then before oh a Christmas break on 2015 we were all together as a band and the idea became that we want to make a new record. Then we had a few demos, and we. Originally, it was supposed to be an EP even because we had a five songs. We were like, hey, you know, I'm studying in England and I met uh, Matt Hyde, you know, the guy uh, who produced it, and, we, and he's down to work with us, so why not we give it a try and make an EP out of it? So we went in and record uh, five songs of it first, like the first batch. And then what happened was we thought, uh, these songs are kind of good and it would be kind of waste to just put it on an EP. Let's just make a full album out of it. So we, after that was finished, um, during the summer in 2016, we continue writing then finish the record finally in uh, December 2016 the same year the reason it's like it took quite a while to get it out is because like we were studying and like uh, we if we put it out while we study I didn't really want to do that because we didn't we won't have time to go tour you know or do anything like that and I don't want it to you know just be forgotten or a record we put out online self-release because I really liked it and I felt like there was something special about it you know yeah well, I, I think the record came out great I really enjoyed it 
Um, your first trip now to America, you're going out touring, you're about 10, 12 days onto the road. Talk a little bit about the tour and how it's been going for you. It's definitely very different from what we are used to touring because like America is it's really awesome touring here like most of the time when we tour in Asia every place is different so we kind of have to fly we don't we can't really take a van or anywhere to go to this one in the beginning I thought we would it would be difficult because you know we're gonna live with the same people for like you know like a month and we would probably end up like you know like hating each other by the end of it because we would be like because you know at night the small things are the things that annoy people, you know, like, you know, just like the small noises we make. So you got to be really close friends with these people. But like, it, we actually enjoy it more than touring Asia because like, you know, we get to rest more and we, we just wake up and like turn up at the venue and like, OK, go in, sound check, do everything, you know, and pack up and go. Yeah, because most of the time, like our first tour we ever did was in China. Yeah, it was a bit. We had to go to the hotel, get cab, get vans and stuff because you can't really do like, you know, these kind of tour in Asia. Yeah, Certainly. it was really fun. Yeah. Well, as, as you know, there's a lot of logistics involved in touring. Some of the fans that uh, love your music don't don't realize the challenges it takes to go to different countries and yeah. finding your way around. You do have the convenience here of this bus, which is very nice in America. That works out well because, uh, you know, overnight on the road and you can get the next venue and, yeah. and ready to go. Um, that's about all the questions I've got tonight. What have I missed? What do you want to talk about? Um... I just like to say that like we have our album out, Metamorphosis, so please go uh, check that out if you haven't yet. And uh, we're doing this run with Betraying the Martyrs, so uh, if you're in any of the cities we're playing, come hang out. You know, we'll be at the merch booth. Just come say hi. We're the first band playing, you know, on the bill. So yeah, it's really fun and it's really special for us to come tour uh, America and do these kind of things. Because I'm glad to say, but like um, we are actually like you know, you know like like in Thailand no metal bands like you know come toward this yeah. many dates you know and I'm really proud to be like you know like representing it in this way you know it's really something special for me and like I hope like uh, you guys enjoy it so thank you very much thank you have a good show tonight thank you man